My father was not born in Berry Bonny, he's from another part of Ireland. And as we say here in Ireland, he married in. And um, my mother's people had actually owned the home where I was born, which is Highlands Hotel, if you like. That I was actually born in that building. And indeed, my mother before me was born, and her mother, we were there for... I was the eighth generation of the family who owned that place. My mother was born in 1908. My mother's story is about the time of the uh, War of Independence here. She told me so many things. So she would have been at a stage in her life that she could remember a number of the incidents that she witnessed. A group of British Marines were domiciled outside the village. They were very popular locally, very nice people apparently. They were there with their families. And one particular Friday, they marched into the village and there was an ambush set up by the IRA for them. They were all shot and killed in the village. My mother actually saw one man being killed just outside our building, which was a, left an everlasting imprint in her mind, her own experience, because our building was quite a large one, and one little section of it was let out in apartments to, to a priest. And he had an old Model T Ford or whatever kind of cars they had in those days. And he was to keep the gasoline for his car in an orchard that we had at the rear of the premises, which later became a car parking lot. He was to keep his gasoline in tanks, drums, call it what you like. Uh, there he'd keep maybe two full ones and he had about 10 or 12 empty ones, always. So anyway, this particular day, and a couple of days after the, what a lot of people thought it was the murder, really, of the Marines, there was retaliation, of course, from the British Army. And probably had ideas that they may burn down the village if they could find gasoline to do so. So somebody told them of the gasoline that was in our orchard. And my mother thought about it at the same time. She was 13 years old at this time. So she went into the orchard and she, she found two drums of gasoline full, two drums full. So she put them down and she surrounded them with empty drums and covered the top of them with empty drums and had two rows of empty drums around the two full ones. And while she was in there doing this, she heard voices of English accents and knew that the soldiers were. So she went and hide. She hid up on a tree and on one of the, the fruit trees, which was in the end of the summer, therefore the foliage would have been very thick and a good place to hide. So these two soldiers came in, searched around the place and one of them kicked over the drums, kicked a couple of them, lifted one from the top. Oh, he says, they're all empty. There's nothing here. And they went away. And she felt that 
If they had found that petrol, they probably had burned down the whole village.